As sports fans, we learn to accept certain guarantees. The New England Patriots winning the AFC East, the Cleveland Browns having a new quarterback and coach every year, and the Philadelphia 76ers losing 76 or more games. Okay, that last one was an exaggeration, but there are some things in sports that we always seem to fall for, only to be duped more than the students who went to Trump University. We're talking specifically about a number of sports teams that are all hype and no action. I'm Daquan Young, and today we dive into the 10 sports teams that never live up to expectations despite all the hype. And a big shout out to Hoops Norman for suggesting this idea. Please leave us your requests in the comment sections and we'll try our best to get to them. Number 10, the Seattle Mariners. The Mariners have baseball's longest playoff drought, having last made it in 2001. This rings true despite having Edgar Martinez and Ichiro for a number of years. This Mariners team includes franchise pitcher Felix Hernandez and another solid starter in Hisashi Iwakuma. But it's their lineup that's especially dangerous. Robinson Cano is one of baseball's top sluggers. Nelson Cruz is always hitting over 30 dingers a season. The Mariners have a great balance of hitting and pitching, but they still own the longest playoff drought for a reason. Number 9, the St. Louis Blues. The Blues have been among the Western Conference elite teams since 2012, winning a pair of Central Division titles, but always disappointing in the playoffs. Despite three straight 100-point seasons, this team has just two playoff series wins to show for it over that span. The Blues are always being sent home by lower-seeded teams. In fact, their 2016 trip to the Western Conference Finals was their first time getting past the second round since 2001, but still, no Stanley Cup appearances to show for it. Number eight, Liverpool FC. Just because they're one of the most followed and marketed sporting franchises in the world, it doesn't mean Liverpool is a model team. The days of Steven Gerrard are long gone, but it doesn't stop Liverpool fans from holding out high hope. They haven't won a league championship since 1990. Going back to 2008 and 9, they've only finished in the top five twice, both being second place finishes in 2009 and 2014. Number seven, the Los Angeles Clippers. It's beyond the minds of millions how a team with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin can never go far into the playoffs. These two are as deadly a duo as they come. The Clippers have made the playoffs in the past five seasons, but have failed to get past the second round. We know the Spurs, Warriors, and Thunder have been tough, but you figure they find a way by now. But if there's one title the Clippers will win, it's being the West's most overhyped team each year. Number six, the New York Yankees. Yeah, yeah, they have 27 World Series championship rings and they've been the model organization of Major League Baseball since their inception. But the Yankees have one World Series ring since 2001. For a team that's brought in superstar free agents for years, you'd think they have more. The Yankees haven't made the Fall Classic since 2009 and haven't won an ALCS game since 2010. I think it's time to stop hyping them up so much. Number five, the Chicago Bulls. Since King James joined the Miami Heat in the 2010 season, the Bulls have often been thought of as LeBron's biggest threat in the Eastern Conference. But with just one trip to the East Final, that's been far from the case. Because of their inability to beat James, the Bulls haven't been able to reach the NBA Finals since 1998. The Derrick Rose, Joe Kim Noah regime is over. But do you really think Dwayne Wade and Rajon Rondo will make the Bulls great again? Number four, the Cincinnati Bengals. The poor Bengals haven't won a playoff game since 1990. The Bengals made the playoffs in their first five years of the Andy Dalton era, yet they failed to win a single playoff game. This, despite fielding the talents of Mr. Dalton himself, along with AJ Green, Tyler Eifert, Giovanni Bernard, Jeremy Hill, Adam Jones, Geno Atkins, and Vontez Burfitt, among others. Just when you think the Bengals will finally win a playoff game, they fail. Number three the Arizona Cardinals. Fans from Arizona buy into belief that their team can win it all every season. And we don't blame them, but the Cardinals have a history of folding when it matters most. They got into the playoffs in 2014, but lost in the wildcard round to the Carolina Panthers. And then in last year's NFC Championship game, elite quarterback Carson Palmer threw four interceptions as the Panthers beat them again. This came eight days after Palmer just won his first playoff game. With Palmer and Larry Fitzgerald on their last legs, Chances are, Arizona fails to win a title for their franchise icon. Number two, the Washington Capitals. Alexander Ovechkin has changed the culture of hockey in the nation's capital. 
From 2007 to 2016, his Capitals won six division titles, had the league's best record twice, and made the playoffs all but one year. What does that all add up to? Five playoff series wins without a single trip to the Eastern Conference Finals. During that time, OV led the league in goals six times, led the league in scoring once, and won three Hart Trophies as the league MVP. Talk about underachieving. Number one, the Dallas Cowboys. So where does the hype in Dallas really stem from? The TV stations that feature Cowboy games seemingly every second week? Jerry Jones himself? The NFL media? Or the fans from Big D? The answer is a combination of all of the above. The Cowboys are America's team to many, but the NFL's biggest underachievers to many more. They spin like crazy and always fail despite fielding the talents of Tony Romo, Jason Witten, and Des Bryant. Three playoff wins since 1996? Yep, the Cowboys are all talk and no action. Which sports team do you think disappoints the most? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.